this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. We've reached the perplexion floor of Pound's Challenge Dungeon. So far, I seem to be running into the floors that I haven't visited yet a lot more frequently. Or at least for the most part, like two out of the three floors are, are new for me. So this is my fourth run through, I think, if I recall correctly, but... Anyway, we got Lamia there, but this time I have the aid of Bile on my side. But I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use something a little more strategic against them. Yeah, ogres are, I think ogres are immune to Piggy, but they are susceptible to sleep. They're also susceptible to mini, but uh, the thing with, uh, well, I haven't learned mini yet, so that doesn't do me any good. But yeah, we might want to heal up Leonora there. Uh, ogres, as I think I mentioned before, they are weak to holy, so we can use that on them. Ow! You guys are kicking my ass. One Lamia doing all... Ow! Quit it! Gotta find a way to keep up with her. Stop hitting Palum! It's like all the bosses hitting Kane all over again. But anyway, okay, yeah, enough of this. Let's, uh, let's just take the cheap route then. I thought maybe I could use some actual strategy for a change, but no! You could also use Break on the Ogres like you would against the Mad Ogres, but fortunately the Ogres are very slow. Even my mages can run circles around them. That is sad. But anyway, whew! Yeah, I'm at level 32, and I'm still having trouble with these guys. I probably should have just used the brute force method, but what fun is that? Okay, now let's see. We got the Black Knights, or we do fire! Ow! Okay, run! Run! Yeah, Black Knights are really fast. I could have, uh, well, I could have beaten them, but... They just got to jump on me like that. How much I can do there? Oh, well. But yeah, the Black Knights are weak to fire. I would have used that if I could have, but... Um, do I want to run? No, I just think we're good. Bye. If it doesn't kill them, it should nearly kill them, and when they explode, it won't hurt me nearly as much. Okay, well, we could probably just kill them with my arrows. Any arrow will do. All right, there we go. Yeah, this place is kind of like the maze floor, except, well, it's, I think it's harder to navigate around here, because each intersection looks like every other intersection, almost. Okay, there we go. Crap. I really wish I had the sleep blade from Eblon Castle. But I'm just going to go with the brute force method. Maybe I can kill them with a fire arrow? I mean, they are weak to fire and throw. Or I could just brute force them with them. Wow, look at that experience! You damn well better give me that amount of experience after putting up with that lengthy attack animation there. Oh yeah, by the way, I got headbands. Yeah, it gave me five attack multipliers for Leonora. I won them from Mad Ogres earlier, so... At least the mages can equip something to give them a good strength boost. I think they can even equip the, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, the gremlins are weak to fire. I think they can even equip the power armor, if I recall correctly. I, I could be wrong on that. I think in the original they couldn't, but in this version they can. I forget. They changed some things around. So, I think I'm supposed to head to the right. We gotta get back to the entrance now, because, well, the way to go is actually south from the entrance to get to the exit. What's right? Uh, she wants me to toss her bottle cap around. I don't have any toys for you. Oh, she's rather noisy today. Let's see if I can take these guys on this time. You know, I could use one of those, uh, those battle items. The one that casts, like, Fira on all of them, but it's, like, uh, no charge time. Uh, bomb something. 
Uh, bomb crank, there it is. Yeah, let's use that on them. That's a big map. That's it? Okay, run! Pam, don't die! I... Okay, uh, I better survive. Phew! Ow! That's what happens when you get overconfident with yourself. Oh, well. See, pal, maybe you shouldn't be so arrogant. You, you're not ready for your sage training yet. You gotta learn the white magic from Leonora. Why don't you bother learning white magic? I mean, he knows that a sage is someone who can use all the white and black magic in the world. Well, then why not start training to learn white magic over the past 17 years? I don't know. I, I, that just seemed like it would be a... Like, a practical idea. He knows, but he doesn't learn it. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the centaurs, or whatever those things are, yeah, they're easy enough. Alright, and here is the town floor. Huh. Let's see, I don't think there's anything in that house there, but... Let me see. I'm just trying to think if I want to equip something. No, no, we'll leave well enough alone. Some of these houses, like you see in that lower house there, you can kind of see a passage into it. You can walk right into the house, or through it, or whatever, depending on the house. And, well, I'll go over that when we get to it. Get an X potion here. Awesome. And, by the way, a lot of people were saying, back on the flan floor, H.C. Bailey, you missed a treasure or two. Well, you know, the thing is that I don't think there's any official strategy guide for this game or any such source, so I really don't have access to 100% perfect treasure list, so it's very possible that I'm going to miss treasures in this LP because, I mean, I look up a walkthrough, but, you know, walkthroughs don't necessarily have everything here, so. But anyway, bio on the Lamia there, bio on these two, that should get the job done. Yeah, most of the enemies here, they're going to be pretty susceptible to bio or break. And don't worry about your MP here, because we're going to go through a secret passage. No, not really a secret, but yeah. No, actually, there is an, uh, a healing pot here. Or, well, the equivalent thereof. Game! I was one step away. The well is the healing pot. Uh, let's see. We want to use bio to kill the Medusas, and I... I think I want to have Leonora use sleep. Or maybe, no wait, we don't have many yet. Switch rows, bio, take out, or maybe break would be a good idea. No, no, let's just stick with bio. Uh, bio won't damage the ogre, but we'll kill the other two at least. Break can actually work on Medusas, which makes sense. I mean, in the original mythology, didn't, isn't that how they defeated the Medusa? Oh, now I learn many. But yeah, didn't they use like a mirror on the Medusa and turned herself to stone or something like that? Like, I don't know. I thought that was how it worked in the movie. I forget the name of the movie. That wasn't Clash of the Titans, was it? Man, one of those movies that they made me watch when I was in elementary school. But anyway, I don't think there's anything in that southeast pass. I'm trying to remember. Uh, well, I might check it out. But anyway... Crap. Um, no. Run! Yeah, sometimes they just ambush you. Not a whole lot you can do there. You're mages. What do you expect? Let me see here. No, there's no treasure down there, but there is one in here. The Silent Bell. I'm trying to see if there's any other secret passages or treasures here. No, no. Okay, okay. Moving on. Let's see. Spider Silk. Awesome. Never really going to use the ruby ring now, but, well, it's there. Yeah, nothing in that well. It's just an ordinary well. All the rest of them are. It's only that one in the middle there. This is probably the best place in the tail to level grind if you want to do that. Because you got the well there. You got the enemies with uh, that give the best experience for that. There's other floors that have healing pots. But the enemies don't give as good experience. This is the best one to do all that stuff. 6,800 gil. I'm trying to remember where I saw that number before. Exactly 6,800. 
I feel like I've seen that number recently. Was that in a treasure chest in my main LP? Not my side LP, my main LP. Man, I have a slip of the tongue. You guys don't let me get away with anything. But yeah, uh, 6,800. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I could have sworn I saw that number recently. Well, anyway, yeah, Bile's just take rocking everyone. We had the Naga there, but a multi-targeted Bile takes them out easily enough. Okay, well, I think that's all for this floor, so, uh... See, I got two more to go. Well, hopefully I can find them sooner or later. Alright, um... Four or five... Uh... Yeah, four or five run raids through the dungeon later, we get the restoration floor. It took me forever to find this one. Oh, and the bridge floor. All right. Well, there's the remaining two. But yeah, the restoration floor, like you saw there, you basically get restored to max and you can leave the challenge dungeon if you want, but that's about it. So yeah, it's a real quick floor. It's basically a gimme, essentially. There we go. <coughs> I could have just used, like, Thundara or something, but I wanted to take out the mage in the back row there, too. The enemies on this floor? Not so hard. Oh, well. Oh, I love abusing my bio spell. Yeah, you see how much my HP has increased since the last floor there? Yeah, it's because this is a, well, a future run through the dungeon. Way in the future. I don't need bio, but I love the instant cast time. It's just so good. Stripe, you don't need to roll around all cute to get my attention. I'm almost done here. Well, not almost, but can you wait five minutes? Or however long I got left. But anyway... Can I take out the other one? Hmm. Well, I'll do what I can. Woohoo! Yeah, Leonora's got a lot of attack multipliers. She's just obscene. I think she's got like six or seven by now. She's almost as powerful as Yang. No, no, no one's nearly as powerful as Yang, but I like to pretend she can be. She's not that far off. Uh-oh. Yeah, good bio spell. But yeah, fortunately, while we have very little defense, the ma the enemy mages have very little HP. So we can just take them out real quickly like that. Well, okay, I think that's every floor in the challenge dungeon, but now that we're at a high enough level, let me show you an alternate strategy for dealing with the boss. To do this, well, obviously, you still want to get the battle speed down to minimum, and... Let's see, we want the best mage equipment for my intellect multipliers or magic multipliers. And I want to, let's see, go for the Mystic Veil. I think that ought to do. Basically, you want to have Leonora up to level 37 with the Mystic Veil. You basically want her speed to be at least 17 for this next part here in order to defeat the boss. If you're not at, at a speed of 17, this won't work. It is exactly 17. I've tried it at 16, doesn't work. 17, it works. And you wanna make it a full moon. We're gonna be playing it risky here today, viewers. To boost your black magic damage. For boss time! Now remember, when you use a non-elemental spell on him, he will always counterattack with Venom Breath. So, he uses that. Now, if your speed is not 17, you will not be able to get a slow spell to work until after he uses that. And then this strategy won't work. Let's use a high potion on Leonora there. That ought to be good. Now, the next thing I want to do is use Particle Bomb on him. Now that we've gotten slow on him, I can charge up and cast Particle Bomb just before he'll attack us. So use that on him. Now basically, he'll leech and restore less HP 
then I damaged him for. So basically what I'm going to probably do for the remainder of the battle is use Kura on the party and then Bio with Power. Wait for Kira to resolve, then cast Bio on him, and now he'll be able to he won't be able to damage us more for than we can heal, but we can damage him more than he can heal. So there we go. See another Kira. Good Bio spell, and that's pretty much it. It's just a battle of attrition, and we can la hold out or last a lot longer than he can. So, here we go. I'm gonna ignore your rules game. I probably could use another uh, particle bomb and finish him off, but I don't want to chance it. Once he heals for less than 1500, yeah, you can pretty much kill him with uh, particle bomb because whenever he heals it's a third of his current HP so let's say he has 4500 he uses leech it'll heal for 1500 which is basically brings him up to 6000 which we can deal more damage with the particle bomb but all right there we go I haven't fully looted the challenge dungeon yet but uh well I've still got some more to go I was gonna wait until I got up to max level but well I ran into the last two floors I wanted at the same time so I figured let's just Put them all into one one video there. So all right, 70 in a lot. But yeah, um, I'm probably gonna need to do a little grinding to get up to uh, the level cap for this tale. But I think we should be fine. Yeah, look at those attack multipliers with the with the headband there. Holy cow! Literally with the holy sword there. So yeah, I'm gonna fully loot the challenge dungeon. But then we're gonna get ready and check out Pound's real challenge dungeon. What awaits us inside? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a whole episode in a strip club. What are you gonna do about it?